I think I might have literally found the sauce for making the best hip hop beats. So here's how I found this. I decided to treat myself a little bit and say, hey, I want to get myself a new plugin. I've been using the exact same VSTs and drums for quite a while, and it's time for me to mix it up. So I looked on YouTube to try to find what are the best VSTs for making hip hop. And since I've been living under a rock, I didn't know that there's a plugin out there called Scorch. This is made by a guy named my best friend Jacob. When I saw the reviews and I saw all the videos out there, I thought I have to get this plugin. So I bought it over the weekend and yesterday literally spent three hours in that chair just making beats, going through the VST, just trying to familiarize myself with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you into the computer today and we're going to make a beat and I'm going to show you how this plugin Scorch works and why it's so dope. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to dive into the computer. I'm going to show you how this plugin works and we're going to make a banger. Let's go. All right, so we're going to pull up Scorch and uh, in this video, I might use another plugin as well. So don't get all mad at me, but this is a great, great plugin. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of break down the couple of parts of it that I've already used a lot. And then we're going to make a beat and I'll show you all the tools. Fair, uh, disclaimer, I using this, making this beat, I am not going to use any of my music theory knowledge and I'm going to even try not using my MIDI keyboard. So I'm gonna basically try to make this beat extremely beginner friendly. If you don't know music theory and all you have is a computer. So let's get started. There's two things here at the top. The first is the thing here at the left. This is to select your sounds. And then on the right, this is a really cool part of the plugin is um, chord progressions essentially. So let's just like, I'm just gonna pull up one sound as an example, okay? And for a keyboard, um, what you can do is if, if you're using logic, you can just use command K and that pulls up a keyboard. So right as I hit the note, it's individual notes. When I select one of these, which we'll do in a sec, I get chord. Each one of these notes turns into a whole chord. We'll do that in a second though. Cause the next thing I want to show you is this thing in the middle, which, uh, you know, I'll be honest, like of all the reviews, everybody's been going crazy over this knob and I don't actually like it. I think it's, I don't think it's cool at all. Uh, all the other settings I don't think are dope. I think the settings as they are originally are super dope. So what I'll do is I'll like hit the note and then as I do it, I'll turn the knob so you kind of hear what it sounds like. That's kind of sick actually. So it could be, it just cycles through different effects essentially. I usually keep the shit raw so that's pretty much it and then you have different chords so like when i hit this it's cool but when i select on and then i click one of these by the way when you click this that doesn't do anything that just favorites it when you actually click on it it's crazy right that's a lot different the other thing is when you hold down the note it'll actually progress the sound Pretty sick. I had to already take my sweater off. Shit's getting hot already. I'm gonna say another fair warning about this because this is something I've I've I've, I've experienced. Um, I was doing a demo for my clients. I have a music production academy called Rapid Fire Music Academy, and I was doing a live demo of this for my clients. And I realized like sometimes like when you play the chords here, like it sounds super sick, but. When you actually record it, um, and then I started bringing in other stuff, like I'd bring stuff from like my sample library of Splice where I was using like vocal samples from another thing called Arcade. Shit wasn't matching. I was like, what the fuck's going on? And like, that's kind of one of the things that, one of the negatives I have about um, this plugin. Like I still give the plugin an A, but this chord thing is kind of finicky. Meaning like I'd play these chords and they wouldn't all come out exactly like they're technically in the key of D major, but what I'm playing are notes that, yeah, they work for D major, but they're not necessarily all like they're notes that could also work for other. How am I, I'm trying to explain this. They work for other chords too. Um, and so if you bring in another sample from splice or arcade, it's not all going to match. Okay. So keep that in mind. I personally know music theory. So as someone who knows music theory, I give the plugin an A+. But if you're someone who doesn't quite know music theory, I'd still give the plugin like an A- minus or maybe a B+. Plus and, and just don't go with... I, w I would go with these, but be cautioned. So 
what we're gonna do is we're just, we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna make a fucking beat. I'm gonna go pick a fucking random ass sound. Like, and there's so many plugins. Like, it's insane. But I'm gonna pull out another tool that I use called the Unison MIDI Wizard. Like, giant, giant enormous shout out to the Unison MIDI Wizard. Um, we haven't even picked a key yet, but I'm just, I'll go with D minor, but this plugin is stupid. Like, you have to get this plugin. Um, you can pick the genre, you can pick the key, you can pick if you want chords or melody, and then length, four or eight bars, and even transpose it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a, uh, Ooh, future bass and melodic trap. Um, I like this D minor F major, and then all you have to do is click that. Nice. Yep. This is good right here. So I just duplicated the track, exact same unison settings. Instead of chords, I'm just gonna click melody. And now, click zap. Okay. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my tool here. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm just gonna right click and transpose these up 12 semitones. You got it. By the way, I, I hit play. And I hear the same thing. Just turn that off. There we go. I think the one thing I'll do, I'm gonna hit Command D on the chords, drag it. I'm gonna hold Option so that it's a plus like that. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this exact same thing, but I'm gonna layer. I'm gonna pick a different instrument. I'm EQing it. So imagine that's gonna be layered. That makes it way more epic. That's sick. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the melody. You know what I'm gonna do? I like it, but I'm gonna take the new melody, Command A, right click one of the notes, and I'm just gonna go transpose region event down. No. Yeah, I'm gonna transpose these ones up just to hear how they sound. Nice, and just... That's sick. We'll go, uh... I'm gonna go arcade, I'm gonna pull up a vocal chop, and then we're gonna go into the drums. Yeah, so this is cool because you can change... the the um the key and it's going to match with whatever it is you're playing and it's going to go with the bpm I'm just going to hold that down all right i'm going to hit q quantize it and i'm just going to get command c command v and command j we're going to go search 808 pretty simple um, for BPM, we're in 85, so I'm just gonna go with a range of like 80 to 90. And then for key, we're in, what the fuck are we in again? D minor. Key, D minor. Now, you might be watching this, you might think, okay, Lee, it's in 90, it's a different BPM. So what the fuck? All you have to do is I'm gonna take my mouse, I'm gonna hit the, the, the on my keyboard, Option, right? You have to wait until it looks like that. And then once you hit option, see how those little wave forms come and you just boom. Now it's in B, it's in key or it's in BPM. Copy it. Yep. The reason I did that, by the way, was because I wanted to base my kick pattern off the 808. So I'm just going to EQ the 808 real quick. When it comes to the drums, you can actually take drums from Splice and you can find drums from like famous producers. So like Murda Beats, like he's pretty big time producer. He's one of the biggest. Murda Beats, um, I'm just gonna search him. Murda Beats, Boy Wanda, Wonder Girl, like these are all big time producers and you can actually get drums directly from them. Um, pretty, pretty sick.
um, you know, Grammy nominated producer Murder Beats. So I have drums from him. I have drums from Boy Wanda. I have drums from Wonder Girl. I have drums from Sunny Digital. I've got drums from a lot of different places, producers that are pretty, pretty heavy hitters in the game. We're going to go with uh, Boy Wanda drums right now. Actually, Murder Beats drums. Murder drums is going to, Murder Beats is going to fit the best. One thing you'll notice, and this is just a little mixing trick, but one thing you'll notice about the kick is damn near clipping. So I just turned it down, EQ'd it. I'm just gonna bounce it in place real quick. Boom. Cleaner. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do hi-hats. Um, if I hit the note once, it hits the note once. But if I pull up note repeat, then basically it hits the note multiple times. So what you can do is you can actually, you know, program note repeat here in Logic, click it, learn by key position, and you can change it to whatever key command you want. Open hat that tsh, tsh, um. mm. and we got ourselves a beat right easily. So I would give Scorch personally, for me personally, and I know music theory. I would give Scorch an A, A plus, A A plus. If you're if you don't know music theory and you're gonna be really troubled with their whole chord thing. I'd give it. A, I'd still give it a B plus, A minus. It's worth the money, and I think it's a great plugin. I'm like, I got it like four days ago, and I've literally used it every single day. It's reignited beat making for me. Like I just am cooking up insane beats so fast. Um, I think it's crazy. So my recommendation for you, like if you're getting started with music production or you're like you're already an expert at it, the two things I'd get after this video, and I don't even have an affiliate link for either one of these. Um, Scorch, I'd get that. And I would also get the Unison MIDI Wizard. Uh, Scorch, you can get it for 99 bucks. They have another one for 129. Unison MIDI Wizard, like up in the 200 range, I believe. Absolutely worth it because you can use this with any VST. So if you get something like Omnisphere, Nexus, Scorch, Contact, whatever, um, Serum, you can still use MIDI, MIDI Wizard for, for all of it. So anyways... Um, definitely appreciate you watching. If you got value from the video, just click subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. And uh, really excited to keep making some beats and showing you guys how easy it is to actually produce your music on your own. So thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.